Digital Agricultural Extension and Advisory Service Roadmap, what we are doing in Ethiopia, what kind of extension system we are following. So I will uh, present for you, I, I can share uh, my presentation. Before that, I have a great appreciation and thank for steering committee members, Ministry of Agriculture, Extension Directorate, me. <laughs> <laughs> and also my team, Dr. Mandevro from ATI, Digital Green, Mr. Kabada, Country Director, and also his team, very interesting team. We are working as a department of extension, as a Ministry of Agriculture. GIZ, Mr. Marcus, I have a great appreciation for him. And also Precision Development, Mr. Getu, international team. I have a great appreciation and I need to say thank you behalf of Ministry of Agriculture for your great contribution and support. Also Sasakawa Africa Association, your contribution was great. And I am also the product of Sasakawa Africa Association. They gave me, when I was a development agent at grassroots level, they gave me education opportunity. And uh, now I am the director of extension so their contribution is great. Also, a great appreciation and thank you for core team member. ATI, Mr. Tamasgan, Extension, Minister of Agriculture, Andualem, Alemayo, Precision for Development, Mr. Getu, a core team leader, Mr. Haptamu, also a steering committee member, Lersha, Abraham, your contribution is very great. We never forget and we will write in the history of extension. Digital Green, uh, your contribution also unforgettable. Farm Radio International, Daniel Zalalem, Sasaka Africa Association, Binia, GIZ, Mr. Marcus, and his team, GIC, Sured, SLM, your contribution, your support. Very great for extension. We never forget your support. Thank you for that. So I need to go to uh, my presentation. Uh, Digitalization of Ethiopian Agricultural Extension and Advisory Service. I have three outlines here. Uh, introduction to Agricultural Extension Ethiopia. Overview of challenges for digital extension and advisory service. Current efforts and digitalization of agricultural uh, extension and advisory service. This is technology. I need support also from solution providers. Introduction to agricultural extension Ethiopia. Uh, In-person extension in the primary channel here, you know very well the public dominant extension system is uh, dominant in Ethiopia, more than 90%. And uh, we are also using group extension uh, method. Our goal is bridge the gap between research and farmer. Our method is individual extension, group extension, mass communication. But most of the time, because of human labor and also technology, we are focusing on group extension. Our farmers group in development group and also network group. By that group, you are giving extension and advisory service, the model farmer, the early innovators, they are leading the team. We have also a limitation in extension. I can raise some example. 
challenges for DS to use centralized data. And uh, which is, for example, extension package we are preparing at federal level and also at regional level, regions customizing extension uh, package. The other challenge, many farmers in hand to, to reach uh, areas, you know, as I told you, I was also a development agent at Wankabele in southern part of Ethiopia. During that time, difficult to go here and there without motorbike, without vehicle. So it is difficult to reach every farmer in in-person or individual extension system. So we prefer group extension system. In-person in extension system also very expensive, you know very well. Enhance, uh, to address this limitation, we are transitioning to digital extension and advisory service, which is focusing on enhanced capabilities of DS to deliver contextualized area uh, specific extension service and also enable direct access to farmers to use ag extension and advisory service we need to deliver directly uh, messages packages and different extension informations directly to our smallholder farmers pastoralist and agropastoralist and also we need to uh, send our message for development agent also Enable direct access to farmer to use ag extension and advisory service. Enhance linkage between research outcomes and extension advisory service, including uh, to uh, strengthen our linkage with development partners. As you know, we have uh, more development agent, more than 60,000. Our beneficiaries uh, around 70 million, male, female, use and also including married women. So uh, we have more number of ratio than other countries. So uh, during 2017, we designed or we developed extension strategy, which is market oriented. Uh, the, the vision is modern agriculture integrated with the rest of the economy and a wealthy society free from food insecurity and poverty. Digital extension contributes more and more for the food security and also reduction of poverty. So uh, this strategy has nine pillars. Out of the nine pillars, the second pl pillar says, enhance agricultural knowledge and information system. In 2019, ICT for Agricultural Extension workshop conducted, BMJ also there, international and national uh, organizations attended the meeting, and also the young solution providers also provided or uh, displayed their uh, solutions as a marketplace. ICT working group established during that time from Ministry of Agriculture, NGO, private sector, also uh, incorporated. Greater than 90 participants participated. Then after that, we also conducted digital learning in Ethiopia, uh, agricultural extension system in 2019, focusing on digital learning in agriculture. Bahardar University came and presented their ICT solution and their system and also other private sector international uh, organization uh, as a panel discussion and uh, they presented their solution. So after that, we uh, also developed a guideline, ICT for extension guideline developed, e-learning courses development started with CDSF and different uh, organization. Pilot launched for digital agricultural extension uh, farmer uh, DS and farmer uh, profile registry with digital green. Today we are at a key milestone of digitalizing our agricultural extension and advisory service. 
So the significant unlocked potential in Ethiopia to help our farmer, smallholder farmers, pastoralists and agro-pastoralists, Ethiopia has a powerful ag data set as an asset. You know, we have ethiosis data related with soil mapping, exceptional in Ethiopia, in Africa. However, these data sets so far have not been utilized as effective as possible. So smallholder farmers with traditional farming practices could benefit from this information. With the DAS roadmap, the objective is to enable and encourage use of these powerful data assets in Ethiopia. Provide a direct channel to reach farmers without any intervention, without any human mediator, with relevant information and training. Future. DAS roadmap will involve many stakeholders and systems. You know very well, uh, Radiate also presented today, strong partnership with research institution and other farmer service providers, and also frontline extension worker, starting from uh, Minister of Agriculture up to Kabale uh, level, uh, to be leveraged as an asset to reach unconnected farmers digitally. So uh, as a second uh, major point, I need to touch overview of challenges for digital extension and advisory service. Does ecosystem, uh, solution pipeline and digital stack and enabling environment is the uh, central point. When uh, we go to the current status, the local solution, few ag technology pro products with limited private sector uh, participation also we have. Incubators, limited number of ag uh, agricultural technology startups also uh, there. Data and analytics, uh, valuable data sets available, however, uh, which is a fragmented approach. Uh, because of that, we are trying to uh, develop a platform and coming together, discussing discussion and uh, uh, planning together with uh, the stakeholders, hardware and connectivity, despite uh, progress, cost and uh, quality is uh, challenging. On when you were to enabling environment, governance and policy, uh, we need to uh, see the data sharing policy also. Uh, human capital uh, also uh, another issue. Underdeveloped skills uh, sets actors starting from smallholder farmers and also uh, frontline extension workers. Subject matter specialists needs capacity building uh, knowledge and skill based business environment challenging to access financial service and markets also another issue. The third one current efforts on digitalization of agricultural extension and advisory service. Um, capacity and system development initiatives also there. Tablet distribution with regions, more than 35 uh, tablets distributed for uh, different regions and the setup of does uh, forum for stakeholder. When we are uh, uh, establishing the stakeholder platform, we have conducted stakeholder mapping and assessment also. What kind of digital solution on the ground and how the farmer is using, how the development agent supporting the farmer we have already conducted the assessment and capacity building also for farmers, for SMS and for development agent also uh, providing inst installation of ICT service, web-based also blended and e-learning introduced for development agent and the subject matter specialist, human centered, uh, centered design for co content development, Manual and guideline preparation also uh, the focus area uh, the last uh, year, especially after the COVID. So available digital extension advisory service. I can, I can mention some examples. Uh, 8028, uh, IVR SMS, free hotline 
which is developed by ATI and very interesting and supporting our farmers. And we are proud of uh, this uh, 8028 uh, IVR-based service and also uh, 6077 National Market Information System. Video-based extension, we are working, we are, we are uh, introducing and giving different training with Digital Green, which is area specific and also uh, very interesting for youngsters and also for women farmers. Community radio service with Farm Radio International, which is also research-based and uh, IVR-based, very different type of radio service. We are uh, using such uh, media for seasonal message for regions, our farmers, uh, digitalization farmer uh, production cluster also started uh, registry of uh, profile and also including the land, the farming practice, rural financial service also uh, uh, input voucher system, another area. Uh, deep dive tablet distribution to regions, activities to date, Ministry of Agriculture distributed more than 35,000 uh, tablets for nine region to city administration for data collection and also for reporting, training of trainer, also provided for development agents, subject matter specialists, and also federal uh, focal persons. Progs programs on tablets, uh, agricultural management information system, AGMIS is uh, the central point and also Moodle learning management system, uh, also Kobo data collection tool, ODK data collection uh, application also uh, uploaded on the tablet. Setup does forum for stakeholders also uh, another success for this digital extension and advisory service. The objective is to avoid the application of effort to use uh, optimized resource utilization across ecosystem uh, within the actors, build supportive enabling environment for digital advisory service, encourage uh, data and experience sharing between participants, establish close link with Adblock. You know about Adblock, Agricultural Development Partners Advisory Council, which is a big umbrella in Ethiopia. Uh, you can see the GIFRAS, Global Forum for Advisory Service. Also AFAS, Africa Forum for Advisory Service. So here in Ethiopia, uh, Adblock. So under Adblock, we are uh, establishing different sub platforms like Digital Extension and Advisory Service Platform. So, uh, DAS Forum launched in September 2021. Uh, in, uh, initial session with first partner, His Excellency, Mr. Umar, launched the workshop. Uh, September 2021, DAS Forum also launched. DAS Roadmap drafted with stakeholder uh, for review today.